Hey, welcome in. Welcome in. We're starting slowly, slowly. How are you doing today? How are you doing today? Boop, boop. Hello there. Hello there. My name is Marcel. And we're not alone here, but we Trump by Sean. Sean is here for entertainment, energy, motivation. I'm here for the instructions, the questions, and to support, especially as we're doing yoga here, right? We're first starting off with meditation, then we're going for an hour of yoga. So we're going for 30 minutes of meditation, then an hour of yoga, also with chanting. So we will do some mantras there and singing there. If that's that feels, feels like overwhelming to you don't you don't need to join you can just sit out and ch then join in the physical part of yoga if you like that and yeah appreciate you being here everybody being here and we're starting in about three minutes in about three minutes let me just take my microphone a little bit closer and put it here so I still have quite some microphone problems even after all these days, uh, I, I didn't really figure it out. But however, I solved it kind of like putting it closer together, like the whole microphone, putting it closer together uh, already worked out for me quite, quite well. Um, however, um, yeah, it's still um, kind of like I, I don't know how, how it how to even call it. It's kind of like feels like short circuiting kind of ish, but it really makes a horrible sound sometimes, and it just cuts off the audio. And I don't know what it is. I don't. I seriously don't know what it is. Especially also, I don't like my shirt. To be honest, <laughs> I, I want would love to go shirtless. However, um, I need to have a a neck microphone for that and this microphone that just doesn't work i tried it now yesterday and it doesn't work i tried it with kind of like a necklace and then mounting neck uh, microphone there but it doesn't work so how are you feeling you guys today uh, i don't want to be the negative negative guy here saying all the bad things but uh, um, I also want to say, hey, yesterday was great. We had a great yoga fun. Uh, it was entertaining. It was funny. Did some handstand intro, handstand intro for beginners. Uh, it went quite well. I forgot one exercise that we did in the end, but it was just a little bit different than usual, you know. It was good. It's good. So yeah, if you like to join in, we're going for 30 minutes of meditation right here, right now. And feel free to join in. The instructions are in the bottom right corner. And we're just, I'm also guiding you in there and then you're on your own. And we're going for 30 minutes. So come to a great sit either down on the floor or up in a chair. Root your sitting bones down. Feel how the ground is there and sit up tall. If you're sitting in a chair, no problem at all. If you're sitting down, sit up on a sitting pillow or up on some books. And from there, just start to observe your breath. How does your breath feel today? Make sure your sit feels, feels nice. Does your breath feel today? Sitting up tall. Great. And observe your breath. That's all what we do. Observing your inhale and observing your exhale. And observe if, uh, observing everything that's in between. Good. And whenever you lose this observational quality, this focus. Realize this, or realizing that you have lost it, coming back to your breath. 
coming back to this observational quality. You can also take a moment and observe your thoughts. Let the thoughts go and come back to this observational quality. And here we go for 30 minutes. We see each other in 30 minutes again. Enjoy. Enjoy. Take it easy. No judging here. Every time you like to change your sitting posture, please feel free to do that.
slowly coming out of it, lying down on the floor. Lying down on the floor, extend your legs, bring your arms by your sides, and just be. Hey, meditation minute. Bring your arms by your sides, palms are pointing up, chin a little bit to your chest, feet are facing away from each other, and just be. Nothing to do here, don't focus on your breath anymore. Just be. And slowly start to move your fingers, start to move your toes, stretch your arms, stretch your legs. <sighs> and if you like, you can yawn, <sighs> letting go of your whole day, or your day has been so far. Ooh. Or maybe as you're just standing up, 
as you're just waking up, coming into your body, feeling how your body feels today. Hi, Tom, how are you doing today? Good to have you. Good to have you here. And slowly set yourself up. We're going to sing a mantra together. And I forgot to ask you, Tom, are you interested in mantra singing? If you're still here, if you're not interested, that's all right. I just wanted to ask you, maybe you would like to join also a little YouTube project that I'm going to do. It's quite small, the project. However, the result will be great, you know. The result will be great. Uh, it's about mantra singing, so if you're interested in that, let me know. I will also write you the Discord after quickly. So maybe you'll, if you are interested to join, you're very welcome. So come to a great sit right here, right now, and we're going for 60 minutes of, of yoga. And we're starting off with the mantra. And we're starting off with the Maham Jaya mantra. No, we're, we're got not going into other mantras, but we're using the Maham Jaya mantra today. And you see it also in the bottom right corner at the moment. Yeah, not really corner, but to the bottom right. And uh, uh, the mantra is the ultimate healing mantra. It's here to let go, let go of things that are not serving us anymore. And it's also there to connect to death and to accept death. Yeah. That's all what you need to know about the meaning. And of course, there's also a vibrational quality to it. So this vibrational quality will let yourself uh, be connected to your body, make sure, <laughs> will this vibrational quality will um, go throughout your body and also will connect really, really deeply to your voice, especially as you're maybe another singer. Uh, there's a lot to, to discover in your voice. And as you're sitting right here, right now, maybe you're giving your feet a little bit of a massage. I like to do that. Uh, in whatever kind of sit you are, doesn't matter what kind of sit you are in right now. Good, and from here, I'm going to tell you the whole mantra. The whole mantra goes like this. Om Tiryamba Kamya Chamae Sugandem Pushti Vardhanam Urvaru Kamiva Bandhanam Rechior Mukshiyam Amritat we're going to call and repeat this together first without a melody then we're taking a melody or a rhythm and then we're taking the melody and the rhythm in and you're free to either chime to whisper or to just listen it will take some minutes so it will take about 12 minutes ish maybe a little longer let's see um repeat now Om Tiryambakam Tiryambakam Yachamae Yachamae Sugandim Sugandim Pushti Pushti Vardhanam Vardhanam Urvaru Urvaru Kamiva Kamiva Bandhanan Bandhanan Richur, Richur, Mukshi, Mukshi, Amamritatu, Amamritatu, Om, Om, Tiryambakam, Tiryambakam, Yachamai, Yachamai, Sugandim, Sugandim, Pushti, Pushti, Vardhanam, Vardhanam, Urvaru, Urvaru, Kamiva, Kamiva, Bandhanan, Bandhanan, Rechur, Rechur, Mukshi, Mukshi, Amamritata, Amamritata, 
Om, Om, Tiryamakam, Tiryamakam, Yajamai, Yajamai, Sugandim, Sugandim, Pushti, Pushti, Vardhanam, Vardhanam, Urvaru, Urvaru, Kamiva, Kamiva, Bananan, Bananan, Rachur, Rachur, Mukshi, Mukshi, Amamrita, Amamrita. Good, we take more together. More parts together and I try it again. Om Tiryama Kamya Jamai. Om Tiryama Kamya Jamai. Sugandim Pushti Vardhanam. Sugandim Pushti Vardhanam. Urvaru Kami Vabandhanam. Urvaru Kami Vabandhanam. Rachur Mukshi Amam Retato. Rachur Mukshi Amam Retato. Om Tiryamba Kamya Jamai. Om Tiryamba Kamya Jamai. Sugandim Pushti Vardhanam. Sugandim Pushti Vardhanam. Urva Rukami Vabandanan Urva Rukami Vabandanan Rachur Mukshi Amamrita Rachur Mukshi Amamrita Om Tiryama Kamya Jamai Om Tiryama Kamya Jamai Sugandim Pushti Vardhanam, Sugandim Pushti Vardhanam, Urva Rukami Vabandhanan, Urva Rukami Vabandhanan, Rechur Mukshi Amam Retato, Rechur Mukshi Amam Retato. Om Tiryamma Kamya Jamai Om Tiryamma Kamya Jamai Sugandim Pushti Vardhanam Sugandim Pushti Vardhanam Urva Rukami Vabandhanam Urva Rukami Vabandhanam Rechur Mukshi Amam Retato Rechur Mukshi Amam Retato Om Tiryamba Kamya Jamai Om Tiryamba Kamya Jamai Sugandim Pushti Vardhanam Sugandim Pushti Vardhanam Urva Rukami Vabandhanan Urva Rukami Vabandhanan Rechur Mukshi Amam Retato Rechur Mukshi Amam Retato Om Tiryamba Kamya Jamai Om Tiryamba Kamya Jamai Sugandim Pushti Vardhanam, Sugandim Pushti Vardhanam, Urva Rukami Vabandhanam, Urva Rukami Vabandhanam, Rechur Mukshi Amam Retato, Rechur Mukshi Amam Retato. Let's take it all together. Sing together with me. Om Tiryama Kamya Jamai. Om Tiryama Kamya Jamai. 
And sorry, we're missing everything together. I'll, I'll restart. <laughs> it happens sometimes. Om Tiryama Kamya Chamae Sugandem Pushti Vardhanam Urvarukami Vabandhanan Rechur Mukshi Amamretata Om Tiryamba Kamya Chamae Sugandem Pushti Vardhanam Urvarukami Vabandhanan Rechur Mukshi Amamretata Om Tiryamba Kamya Chamae Sugandem Pushti Vardhanam Urvarukami Vabandhanan Rechur Mukshi Amamretata Om Tiryamba Kamya Chamae Sugandem Pushti Vardhanam Urvarukami Vabandhanan Rechur Mukshi Amamretata Om Tiryamba Kamya Chamae Sugandem Pushti Vardhanam Urvarukami Vabandhanan Rechur Mukshi Amamretata Om Tiryamba Kamya Chamae Sugandem Pushti Vardhanam Sugandem Pushti Vardhanam Urvarukami Vabandhanan Rechur Mukshi Amamretata Om Tiryamba Kamya Chamae Sugandem Pushti Vardhanam Urvarukami Vabandhanan Rechur Mukshi Amamretata Om Tiryamba Kamya Chamae Sugandem Pushti Vardhanam Urvarukami Vabandhanam Rechur Mukshi Amamretata Om Tiryamba Kamya Chamae Sugandem Pushti Vardhanam Urvarukami Vabandhanam Rechur Mukshi Amamretata Om Tiryamba Kamya Chamae Sugandem Pushti Vardhanam Urvarukami Vabandhanam Rechur Mukshi Amamretata Om Tiryamba Kamya Chamae Sugandem Pushti Vardhanam Urvarukami Vabandhanam Rechur Mukshi Amamretata Om Tiryamba Kamya Chamae Sugandem Pushti Vardhanam Urvarukami Vabandhanam Rechur Mukshi Amamretata Om Tiryamba Kamya Chamae Sugandem Pushti Vardhanam Urvarukami Vabandhanam Rechur Mukshi Amamretata Om Tiryamba Kamya Chamae Om Tiryamba Kamya Chamae Sugandem Pushti Vardhanam Sugandem Pushti Vardhanam Urvarukami Vabandhanam Urvarukami Vabandhanam Rechur Mukshi Amamretata Om Tiryamba Kamya Chamae 
Sugandem Pushti Vardanam Urva Rukami Vabandanam Prechur Mukshiyam Amritat Last time all together Om Tiryam Vakam Yachamai Sugandem Pushti Vardanam Urva Rukami Vabandanam Rechur Mukshi Amamretata. Bring your hands in front of your heart together. Bow your head in front of your heart. Breathing in deep free your nose. Release your arms by your sides. Palms are pointing forward. Bring your arms up by your sides. Get long from your sitting bones to the top of the fingers. Feel the length. Breathing out, release your arms by your sides down. Bring your arms up by your sides. Get long from your sitting bones to the top of the fingers. Feel the length. And release your arms down by your sides. Bring your arms up again. Get long from your sitting bones to the top of the fingers. Feel the length. How does that feel? And release your arms down. Bring your arms up. Feel the length. And breathing out, releasing your arms. Bring your hands to your thighs and move your hands forward and backward. Connecting with your power today, whatever the word power means to you. Moving your hands forward and back on your thighs and connecting to your palms, moving on your thighs and connecting also to the feeling on your thighs that you're creating together with your hands and your ties. Great. From there, move your shoulders forward and upward, backward and down, and again, forward, upward, backward and down. How does that feel? Shoulders forward, upward, backward, and down. Great job. Doing amazing. From here, interlace the fingers. Woo! Exactly, your wrists a little. Warming up your wrists. How do your wrists feel today? Shake your wrists out, your elbows, your shoulders, interlace the fingers again, bring the other from in front and circle your hands into the other direction. Shake your wrists out, your elbows, your shoulders. And from here, we're Bringing the fingertips to the right, and we get long from your left sitting bone to the top of the left hand. Meanwhile, we're keeping your right side body long, long, long. Great job. Feel the length. Breathing out, changing. Bring your left fingertips down. Get long from your right side body to the top of the right hand. Feeling the length here. Trying the belly in and up, chest in and up, feel the length. Great job. And from here, release. Lean to the right. Leaning to the right completely. Breathing in deep. Your head in line with the spine. Draw the belly in and up. And change around the other side. Draw 
de pelle in en dat. Change around, breathing in deep. Change. How does it feel? Ooh. Changing around. To the left. And the other side again. Drawing the belly in and up. Your head in line with the spine. For me, it feels really, really good. How does it feel for you? Of course, if there's any kind of pain going on, you don't need to do any kind of movements. Always listen to yourself and slowly come up again. Now we're bringing the head to the right. You're looking over the right shoulder, breathing in deep. Release your shoulders down as good as you can. Using your breath as a tool here. Breathing out, looking over the left shoulder, breathing in as deep as you can into your belly, into your chest. Looking over the right shoulder. Breathing out, looking over the left. Lower the right again. Ooh. In deep into the belly, into the chest. Go with your rhythm of the breath. Change the last time. So not pushing with your head to the side, but just looking over there. And we want to use our breath like deeply, deeply, deeply creating Maybe a stretch. And come back into the middle, releasing the right ear down to the right shoulder, release your shoulder stone. And again, breathing in the as deep as you can. And the chin a little bit to the back. You can also feel how your chin feels if you can move it a little bit further to the back. Breathing in as deep as you can, feeling a stretch from your left shoulder, from the left shoulders to the left ear. And breathing out, releasing your head forward and down, all circling it to the other side. If, you, if your sitting posture starts to feel uncomfortable, you can either stand up for a moment or you can just change your sitting posture a little. Release your shoulders down here, yeah, breathing out, release your head forward, half circling it to the other side, breathing in deep again. Yeah, breathing out, release your head forward and half circling to the other side. Feeling the power within you, you can do these movements, listening to your body, releasing the shoulders down as good as you can last times. Uh, breathing out, releasing your head forward and down, hall circling into the other side. Breathing out completely, coming forward into all fours. Take your time moving into all fours. Whoop, 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 whoop.
and from here start to arc up and down from your lower spine arcing up vertebra by vertebra up and then rounding down chin to chest rounding from the top of the head down and ra arcing up breathing in deep vertebra by vertebra really try to go and explore how far you can go breathing out chin to chest now when i see him when I say chin to chest, I mean it. Good. Arcing up. Breathing in as deep as you can. Chin to chest. And going deep, deep, deep. Pushing your back up. All your vertebras pushing up. And arcing down, releasing down. Chin to chest, breathing out. Finding something new here in this position. And arcing up, vertebra by vertebra, coming up. Take your time. And rounding down, chin to chest. And releasing, coming into neutral. Great job, everybody. So from here, let's take it a step further. Before we go there, let's sit back on our heels, shake our wrists a little. Take some time for our wrists again. Give them some space, give them some air. Good job. Come forward again. Now we release the right elbow down and we grab around the left wrist. Good. From here we straighten through the left arm and we're doing the exact same thing. We're exploring it a little bit more. Good job. So from here we start to arc up, keeping our left hand, left arm, long, 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 all the time. Left arm long, long, long. Start to arc up. And round down, chin to chest. And arcing up, vertebra by vertebra, coming up. And rounding down, chin to chest. Arcing up. And you don't need to push yourself too far. And maybe push yourself a little bit. Great job, release, come up again and change around, right hand long, then release your elbow down, grab around your wrist, keeping your right hand long all the time, all, 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 all the time as you're doing this movement. Start to arc up, vertebra by vertebra up, Running on chin to Welcome chest. to your doom. Hey, thank you for the follow. Warm, warmster, XTG. 
appreciate the follow. How are you doing? How is your day going? And then rounding now, chin to chest. Really great, great deep movement here, what we are doing currently. And then chin to chest, keeping your right hand long all the time here. And arcing up. If you have any requests on where to go or if anything you'd like to work on today, let me know and we can go there. Breathing in deep. My name is Marcel and we're teaching here every day and slowly coming back up. Sitting back on your heels, bring your knees to the sides, pick toes together. together and from here reach forward make sure you don't have any kind of waist restriction going on around your waist and then reach forward bring your arms by your sides release your head down and just be just be nothing to do here And if you feel a stretch somewhere, you can breathe in deep into that stretch. Maybe also just maybe engage your muscles a little bit. The muscles where the stretch is, right? Good. And then slowly coming up again. Good job. From here, come forward into all fours. Into all fours. And we're just focusing one moment on our shoulders. Just on the shoulders and release the shoulders down. Shoulder blades are coming on the shoulder, um, on the back together. And then we're pushing out again. Pushing out of the earth. Shoulders, shoulders socket are leaving the shoulders and then releasing down. Shoulder blades are coming together on the shoulders together, shoulder on the back together, <laughs> on the back together. I mean back together. And pushing out again. And release it down. Pushing it up. And down. Good job. Release that. Sit back on your heels. Let's do some heart opener today. So if you like to join in to that movement, um, I highly recommend that you grab a pillow or like some blocks if you have them. But um, a pillow is, is like the optimal thing if you have something like that. Uh, other than that, you can also do it without. However, uh, especially if you're new to this, it will be quite, quite deep. It will go quite, quite deep. So what we're doing is we bring the pillow over the heels, pillow over the heels, so when we're coming to uh, kind of like a knee stand. I'm, I'm not sure how I should call that knee stand. So coming just up upright on our heels right now and then we grab to the back with one arm and then with the other on our pillow. The pillow can be bigger than this kind of little thing that we're having here and we're leaning to the back, right? Good. Now important is your head. My head is currently kind of upright. We don't want to have that. We want to have our head in line with the spine. Good. From there, push your butt forward, butt forward or your hips forward or your waist forward as whatever you want to say. And you find a heart opener here. Bring your shoulder blades onto the back together. Should feel really, really juicy 
And you can also do this without a pillow if you're more advanced, if you have done that already and then come up again with both arms. Make sure you come out of it slowly and you go into it slowly. So no jerky movements, not really because you know it's quite deep it's quite deep and you need to take care of yourself so again go one more time use a pillow or something you can put over your your heels you can also do without if you want to challenge yourself but i don't recommend it if you have never done that really don't because it's quite deep Otherwise, if you're already more advanced, you, you know where to go. You can flatten your, flatten your feet even and you can go there. But really, take care of yourself. It's really, really deep. Bring your arms to the back one more time. Over your heels. And from there, come into position. Bring your head down. And push your waist forward. Feeling this roundedness throughout your back not just at one point but throughout your back great and then slowly come back up bring your waist a little bit to the back and come up with your whole body great job everybody how did that feel Whew. good we haven't really warmed up too much to be honest so come forward again Bring your shoulders over the wrists, hips over the knees, and we're going to... We are a lot of arcing going on today. I like it. Do you also like it? Have your shoulders over the wrists, hips over the knees, then bring your back leg, your left leg up. Look over your shoulders, look over your shoulders here, and check if your leg is going straight to the back. If not, fix that, and imagine pushing it in into an imaginary wall, then bring slowly shift the weight to the left hand into kind of the right right leg right so we have opposite right now we have the opposites right now bring the the right hand forward when your left leg is back or other way around don't worry if you're doing it the other side it's completely fine and push out from your back leg into the front fingers to the front fingers draw the belly in and up chest in and up Get long from your back foot, the top of the fingers. Your head is in line with the spine, meaning that we're not looking up like this. Super uncomfortable. Yeah, releasing the head down in line with the spine. Getting long, feeling the length. Our hips are one, on one um, plateau, kind of one level. Our shoulders are on one level, so we're not sinking through, sinking through with one shoulder or we're not pushing out with one, but we try to be really, really in level. Good, and slowly come back, release down. Good job, how does that feel? A little bit moving, moving in all fours in any kind of way you want right now to release. You can also shift yourself back and forward if you wish. Just move in any kind of way you want, having the hands where they are, having the knees where they are. And then when you're ready, bring your right leg to the back, looking over your shoulder again, pushing your back leg into an imaginary wall. Make sure your leg is kind of like going straight to the back. By the way, I'm teaching here every day. So if you like to tune in another day, you can do that. I'm here every day for you. Get long from your back leg to the top of the fingers. Draw the belly in, chest in. Breathing in deep. How does that feel? Make sure your head is in line with the spine. Good. Smiling. Don't forget to smile. You're doing amazing. Great job. Feel the length from your back foot to the top of the fingers. And then release down. Whew. Ha. Move your, move your whole body here again. You can think about, if you don't know how to move here, Think about moving like a snake. 
for example. Or create, creating an endless eight with your hips, you can also do that. Or you can do whatever you like, but just having your wrists or the heel, uh, sorry, wrists or the shoulders and the, the hips or the knees. Great job. You're doing amazing. And from there, let's bring our hands a little forward, push into the mounts of the fingers. Okay, we need to do that first. First sit back on your heels. I'm teaching this every, every time. So super important, especially in yoga, but also like in calisthenics and, and other, other kind of things. It's super important to be aware of the mounts of the fingers. As we want to practice whatever we're practicing until an old age, especially when we put a lot of pressure or a lot of weight on our hands, we want to be aware of the mounts of the fingers. So bring the mounts of the fingers together like this, then release the fingers down, then push through your wrist. If this isn't working for you, don't worry about it, but we still want to be aware of the mounts of the fingers. So bring them together as good as you can and try to push them into each other. If that doesn't work, don't worry about it. You will get there in time. Pushing through the mounts of the fingers, pushing through your wrists. How does that feel? release and again pushing in and releasing so why we are doing this to protect our wrist in like um, positions where we put a lot of weight on our hands pushing through the mounts of the fingers and release feeling all the mounts of the fingers connected to each other great job you're doing awesome you're doing awesome Pushing in through the mounts of the fingers, clawing the fingers maybe a little, releasing. And one last time, pushing in, clawing the fingers, and releasing. Shake your wrists out, and bring your hands forward. So here, we're pushing into the mounts of the fingers. So let me quickly change the scene here, so you can maybe see it on a, the little camera. So when we have the hands down, there is no space here between the index finger mount and the mat. Very, very important. We want to push in through the index finger mount. Good. So bring, bring the index finger mounts point forward again. Then bring your legs a little bit back and tuck your toes in and shift your hips up into the sky, coming into a downward facing dog. Whoop. Now the right distance for downward facing the dog is easily de determined. It's like coming forward into plank pose. Make sure your wrists are approximately over the shoulders, maybe a little bit more to the side. And then bring the heels over the toes. So at the same time, right, shoulders over the wrists, heels over the toes. And then shift your hips to the back and we're in the right distance. Great job. From here you can start to walk your heels up and down. How does that feel? How does that feel? And we keep our arms engaged. We keep our chest engaged, our belly engaged. So we're not hanging through at the shoulders right here, right now. But we keep the shoulders engaged, the arms engaged, pushing to the mounts of the fingers. Don't forget that. So no space between the index finger, if that's possible for you. Great. Breathing in deep. And out. And with your next breath, get long from your heart to the fingers. Get long from the heart to the fingers. Engage. You can also bend your knees a little. Your shoulders engaged, your belly engaged. 
And then with your next breath, keeping that length. Finding more length from the heart to the hips. More length from the heart to the hips. If you know what I'm, I'm talking about, or the next sentence, turn your thighs inward and back. To create an additional rounding in your lower back. If you don't know what I'm say, saying or talking about, don't worry about it too much. We're going to cover that in a future lesson, or you can just ask about it. If you're very, very interested, and I'll explain. Look between your wrists and start to walk forward as you're breathing out. Bend your knees, bring your hands to your hips, elbows pointing upward, and stand up with a straight back. Bring your arms up into the sky. Breathing in deep and slight back bend. And from here, release your arms down. Woo! We're standing. We're finally standing. Shake your legs, shake your wrists. Good. And we're already starting to slow down, slow down a little. But before, we're hugging the whole world. So we're doing a sequence that's called Hugging the Whole World. That is really, really nice. Um, if you'd like to join in, bring your hands to your heart and start to move the hands up and down, warming the hands up, the palms up. Warm your palms up a little bit. And then as soon as they, you think they are warm, Bring the hands close, just above the skin of the face, above your eyes. Close your eyes and feel the warmth emitting from your palms. Feel the warmth emitting from the palms. Great job. If you can feel it, awesome. If you don't, don't worry about it. In time you will feel it. Then release your hands down onto your face. Closing your eyes and giving our eyes a little bit of rest right here, right now. Connecting the fingertips to your face. And as the rain would fall down, draw your fingertips down on your face. Draw the fingertips down, refreshing yourself. Refreshing your head, refreshing your body. Draw the fingertips down on your body and release your arms by your sides. Palms are pointing forward. Bring your palms up by your side. And from there, we breathe in deep. Get long from your, from your feet to the top of the head. And breathing out, releasing. And taking up more space as you breathe out. Breathing in, get long from the shoulders to the fingers. Breathing out. Taking up more space. And again, in, into your belly first. Extending the, paw, the fingers away from each other and into your chest, extend your, <laughs> your chest into all directions, left, right, to the back, to the front, as you're breathing in and then breathing out, <sighs> releasing. And right here, right now, breathe in deep, get long from your feet to the crown of the head from the shoulders out to the fingers and extend the fingers away from each other. Think about hugging the whole world here. And when you're breathing out, give the whole world a big hug and give yourself a big hug. Great job. Smiling here a little. You're doing just awesome. You don't need to smile if you don't want to. But if you feel like smiling, I encourage you to smile a little. Good. 
You're doing just great. Release your arms and hug yourself the other way around. Bring the other arm on top. Give yourself another hug. Awesome job, everybody. Awesome job. Release. Shake your wrist out. Shake your wrist a little. Shake your legs. And we're coming to lie down on the floor right now. So come to the floor, come to the front of the mat. Slowly bend your knees, hinge at the hips, and sit down and roll to the back. Ooh. Forward and just give yourself rock sometimes front and back. Being a little playful here. Great job. Giving your back a massage. Great. And then release down. Release down completely. You can extend your legs for a moment. From here, we pick up the right leg. Picking up the right leg, you can grab around your thigh or on the top of your leg and really release your shoulders down onto the floor, grab onto your leg. Breathing in deep. Breathing out, releasing, breathing in again. And breathing out, you can pull in a little bit more. And then release, change the side, other side. Have your ankle rooted to the floor, have your shoulders rooted to the floor, have your hips rooted to the floor. And draw in, breathing in deep. And as you're breathing out, draw in a little bit more. Breathing in deep. Mm, breathing out, draw in a little bit more. And release. Bring both legs up. So knees kind of like up. Then bring the left leg over the right knee. Grab around your standing thigh and pull in. If your left elbow, you can push out a little bit. But first think about your shoulders on the floor. Think about your hips on the floor. Great. See how that feels today. Great job, you're doing an awesome job for your lower back here. And release, change the side, other side. Try to root your shoulders onto the floor as good as you can. Having your hips connected to the floor. Breathing in deep. You can push out if your elbow here. Just a little and release again. Let me check the time. Yeah, we have some more. Bring your right leg up, right leg up, grab below, grab on below your knee. Have your shoulders rooted down again to the floor. Have your ankle rooted down to the floor, hips rooted down to the floor. Straighten your leg. 
your knee is also engaged through and from here pull in a little bit more toes up then toes down foot down toes up foot up toes down foot down toes up foot up toes down foot down breathing in deep and as you're breathing out pull in a little bit more having your hips rooted to the floor your ankle rooted to the floor and from here engage your muscle your, your muscles in the leg engage your muscles of the leg release your arms and slowly controlled with your muscles move down your leg straight 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 controlled how does that feel and then bring the other leg up whoop grab on below your kneecap your shoulders rooted to the floor your ankle rooted to the floor and breathe straightening your leg point up then toes down foot down toes up foot up 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 from here pull in a little bit more when you breathe out forget about that breathing in deep and as you're breathing out pull in a little bit more Engage your leg, feel the muscles activated in your leg, see what's happening if you're activating the muscles and release your, le your leg and slowly release your leg down, keeping your muscles engaged, great job. And from here, I think if you like to do any kind of different positions right now, happy baby pose or windshield wipers, you can do that right now. Otherwise, we're coming into Shavasana. So extend your legs, feet are facing away from each other. Bring your arms by your sides, palms are pointing up towards the sky. If your chin, you can bring your chin a little bit closer to your chest, closing your eyes and just be Shavasana is the hardest pose in yoga. As we are just being here, releasing everything, all the thoughts. Just be. Just be. And we'll get you back out of this position in some minutes. Enjoy this. It's very important that you do this after yoga.
Deepening your breath. Start to move your fingers, start to move your toes, having your eyes still closed. Coming back to your body, whenever you're ready, draw your knees in towards your belly. Draw your knees in towards your belly and shift yourself to either the left or to the right side, coming to lie down on your side body. In this side body position, Release all the tension. Make it feel comfortable to you. Good. And from there, release all the tension throughout your body. Softening the skin of the face, releasing all the tension in your tongue, in the neck, in the shoulders. Oh, the shoulders. Release the elbows, the wrists, the fingers. Release the chest, the belly, the hips, your whole spine, your whole back your legs, your knees, your ankles, your heels, your toes, releasing your whole body. And from there, breathe in deep to feeling, creating a feeling of power, of control. And breathing out, releasing. If your next breath in, Shift yourself up, come into a final sitting position. Whenever you're there, bring your hands in front of your heart together. I honor deeply that you take care of yourself. Honoring your yoga practice, bow your head in front of your heart. Namaste. The emptiness inside of me recognizes the emptiness inside of you. Release the arms. Bring your head up. Welcome back. Open your eyes. Yeah, open your eyes. Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed. You're now very welcome to head out in your day. And if you like to check out more, more from me, uh, you can check me out on YouTube. You can check me out um on the podcast we're doing the health skill podcast here this is the home of the health skill podcast um we're having a lot of podcast we're having a lot of content about meditation about uh, goals about how to have healthy routines all that you will find in the podcast and much more so if you like to check that out it's called health skill podcast available on all podcast platforms don't forget to follow me here on twitch if you're watching this on youtube hello there uh, why don't you join in live you can do that uh, links in the description with that said i hope to see very but very soon everybody that joined in today and i hope you enjoyed this lesson <laughs> See you guys tomorrow. We have only a few days left for 2020. This was day 354. Uh, yeah, I'm glad to have you on, on this journey. And we're seeing each other tomorrow. By the way, we've got a 24-hour stream incoming. I'm a little bit scared. You know, my last 24-hour stream didn't uh, go that well. Uh, but we have a 24-hour stream incoming on 31st. And we're going to celebrate... In all the time zones, uh, New Year. So we really celebrated after that. We really celebrated all all the different uh, New Years there are, and we're going to start in 10 a.m. GMT plus one, and yeah, it's going to be amazing. Feel free to join in, and we're going to celebrate a lot. <laughs> and with that said, I wish you a wonderful day. And we are going to rate somebody. Woohoo! A rating. Rating time. 
it's time. It's time to raid. Time to raid. Let's see if we have some somebody on here. Again, if you like to raid with me, copy the raid message in the chat. And shall we go to um Let's go to Nina era, Nina era 90. Wait, hosting true? Uh, why does this, this isn't true. Yeah, we're raiding Nina era. So some, sometimes it's like, eh, what, what's going on? But it's all right. Like this and send her a lot of love. I think she's playing a game right now. And with that said, put the message in chat, rating of love, copy paste that message. By the way, my name is Marcel again. This is Sean and together we're teaching every day here on Twitch. So if you like to join in, if you have any requests, feel free to come in and ask about it. And we're going to take care of whatever uh, you're struggling with. With that said, bye-bye, um, bye-bye, bye-bye. See you soon, bye. Okay, bye. <laughs> See you soon. Have a good day. See you very soon. Good day, good night, wherever you are in the world. <laughs>